Kanye West. You know how people come out to poetry slams and they light incense and everything. I had to make my own ambiance, you know, for me to feel comfortable. <laughs> it really don't have nothing to do with the poem whatsoever. <laughs> it just, I just thought it looked good on TV, so. Um, people always talk about, you know, Kanye, is he, is he, is he really like that? Is he really that, that, that arrogant? I just don't like his attitude. I don't like, you know, you know, they, they, they say your attitude determines your latitude. Well, I'm high as a motherfucker, fly as a motherfucker. And still the motherfucker you love to hate, but can't. Because you love what I make. Now ain't that about a bitch. And I'ma talk shit until I'm out of hits. They don't want to turn the speakers up. They claim I ain't deep enough. All that talking I feed off of. Keep it up. I'm relaxing, my feet is up. I'm leaving you haters like when Shaq left the Lakers just to heat it up. I state the stats to stunt. I don't need the front. Make black history a day. I don't need a month. <laughs> the survey says by the streets according, Kanye just important as Michael Jordan was to the NBA when he was scoring. Ralph Lauren was boring before I wore him. <laughs> Okay, so we get to the real poems now. I just want to stop real quick. <laughs> uh, this is about, you know, something I've been through in the past year that I'm sure a lot of y'all have been through and y'all will get the gist of it at the poem. <laughs> As the poem goes on. It's called Bittersweet. Bittersweet, you're going to be the death of me. I don't want you, but I need you. I love you and hate you at the very same time. See what I want so much, should never hurt this bad, never did this before. That's what the virgin says, we've been generally warned. That's what the surgeon says, God talk to me now, this is an emergency. And she claims she only with me for the current say. You cut me deep, bitch, cut me like surgery. And I was too proud to admit that it was hurting me. I never do that to you, at least purposely. We breaking up again, we making up again. But we don't love no more, I guess we fucking then. Have you ever felt you ever want to kill her? And you mix them emotions with tequila. And you mix that with a little bad advice. On one of them bad nights, you have a bad fight. And you talking about a family, her aunts and shit. And she say, motherfucker, your mama's a bitch, you know. Domestic drama and shit, all the attitude. I never hit a girl, but I shake the shit out of you. <laughs> but I'ma be the bigger man, big pimpin' like Jigger Man. Oh, I guess I figure it's bittersweet. You're gonna be the death of me. I don't want you, but I need you. I love you and hate you at the very same time. See what I want so much, she never hurt this bad, never did this before. That's what the virgin says, we've been generally warned. That's what the surgeon says, God talk to me now, this is an emergency. And my nigga said I shouldn't let it worry me. I need to focus on the girls we getting currently. But I've been thinking and it got me back to sinking it. This relationship it even got me back to drinking that it's Hennessy. It's gonna be the death of me. And I always thought that you having my child was our destiny But I can't even vibe with you sexually Cause every time that I try you will question me Saying you fucking them girls disrespecting me You don't see how your lies is affecting me You don't see how life was supposed to be And I never let a nigga get that close to me And you ain't cracked up to what you was supposed to be You always gone, you always be where them hoes will be And it's the first time she ever spilled a soul to me I fucked up and I know it, G. I guess it's bittersweet poetry.